Hello friends, this is lecture number 7 on state pro software. Today we are going to see state editor command and see to design a multi-story frame structure. First do double click on state pro icon. Open a new project. Name it. Select open structure editor command. Click finish. Start editor tab is open. You can see here state space frame structure then starting job information engineering date and job information then finish now we will see how state editor is changed when we do some change in our menu screen now here name job information client member friends name of engineer click start editor save it now you can see the change here if you do some change here it will automatically change in our main file like if we change client name to the name of engineer save it key unit now you can see here the changes are updated here Similarly, we go to geometry tab. Now let's define a node here. Join the beam member. Now let's generate a frame structure from state editor command. save it now here we can see the unit which was prompt in tab is meter kilonewton here are the joint coordinates the node 1 has the coordinate 0 comma 0 comma 0 where the coordinate 2 has coordinate 0 comma 3 comma 0 the member 1 has starting node node 1 and node node 2 similarly we can generate more structure members let's generate it Number three, save it. Now you can see the change here. the node 1 and node 2 similarly we generate node 3 here then node 4 member 3 member 2 now the property define a property edit assign it to a member
now go to the start editor command now you can see we define a circular section of material concrete so here the concrete properties are entered first then and define material then member property the member 1 and 2 has property of circular section this model yd similarly we can generate different property like as a rectangular section material concrete member 1 2 3 3 all three member has concrete property save it close the tab now here you can see a rectangular section is generated here with property concrete with depth 0.2 and width 0.2 meter close it now generate a support reaction create a new support Let's create a fixed support. Use cursor to assign it. Now see what this change. In the start editor command, you can see supports. The node three has fixed support. Similarly, we can give a pin support to node one. Save it. Now you can see a pin supported is created here. Now let's generate one more member. Right now, selected all the properties are also be copied. Let's undo it. Again, translate it. Geometry only select. Spacing three meter. Click OK. Now properties are not assigned to this member. As you can double click and see. There is no property assigned right now. This is node number five and member five. Go to Stellar Data Command. Edit here. Similarly, edit here also. Add circular section to member five. and rectangular section to member 4 generate one more support a fixed bar support that is roller support with releasing mz and fx Save it. Now you can see the change. Here we generate a fixed part support with releasing FX and MZ. Close the tab and go to the member property. You can see this. The member five is assigned property one, whereas member four assigned property two. So this is how we can use start editor command. Now go to the load definition. Now define a load case. Loading type dead. Edit. Now 
हेड इज सेल्फ वेट देन मेंबर लोड यूडीएल असाइन टू अ मेंबर सिमिलरली असाइन टू अ मेंबर now other are other members are assigned in instead editor command now you can see the load defi define here the load one with load type dead load the title is dead load the self weight minus 1 is assigned to member 5 click all now then udl is assigned only to member 4 let's assign it to member 3 also now let's define a load 2 live load title it as live load Let's define a UDL. On both four and three member. Save it. Now see here. Dead load. Change it. and see load type is live load in the similar way we can learn how to use stat editor command sometime it is easy to model a structure from stat editor command while it is difficult in modeling part and it it is easy to edit stat editor command when some errors are comes in our big structure so it is very useful tool now let's see one more property of stat editor command that is star if you select this step this property is get hidden from our main structure click it to save now you can see here the live load is vanished from our main structure we can do this from our keyboard also now go in to generate it click blue button or remove star manually click save button now live load again is active it is very useful tool when we do analysis of a structure we can hide some properties for analysis or structure in different way by using this tool now designing a structure let's undo all let's do it from stat editor bar
click to save now you can see only job information is left here there is no geometry here now take a structure from structure wizard click apply import in our state model now you can see the frame structure is imported in our state pro model now assign property assign this property to all columns select in parallel to y assign to selected view similarly assign it to all beams properties assign now assign support reaction click support select supports assign to selected nodes the supports are assigned now the load definition finding load combination naming it edit choose the tape define dead load self weight then member load minus 7.2 Four inner walls, minus fourteen point four for two brick walls. Close it. Assign it to view. Select beam parallel to X. in parallel to z now go to view tool view selected object only only beams are selected go to top view select all interior beams assign the load to it similarly assign this load to inverse assign to selected beams display all structure now apply floor load defining floor load the pressure is minus 3.75 define its maximum value select not beam cursor the maximum value is 15 meter 
select some higher value click add button close it similarly for live dot now loads are defined load combination is also defined now print analysis run analysis zero error one warning for slip can be neglected now let's go to designing tab to design our structure the design tab has sub tabs that is for designing steel structure for designing concrete structure for designing timber structure similarly aluminum and shear wall structures here we have different codes to design our structure that is for steel structure we selected is 800 right now we are going to design our concrete structure the current code is IS four five six. We have IS one three nine two zero, which we use for shear walls. Now select. Firstly, select the parameters which we are going to define to design our structure. That is type of bracing we need not need. Then cover, effective depth, ELY ELX. effective length of our members compressive strength of concrete that is m20 m40 m50 delting strength of steel main reinforcement similarly for shear reinforcement right now we need not need it maximum size of main reinforcement click okay after selecting the parameters we can select it here the cover 20 mm cover let's add it the depth is not needed here the maximum size of main reinforcement we can select here is 20 mm bars compressive strength of concrete you can define it here similarly field strength of reinforcement steel click add similarly select the defining parameters and cl close the tab now assign this property to our structure that is effective cover assign it to view maximum main reinforcement you can edit it by double click it Assign it. Now go to the command tab. Select the command. Design beam. Design column. Then take off. the take off provide us the total volume of concrete and weight of steel we had used to design beams and column now assign those properties select the beam members
assign beam number similarly assign columns now as we define all the design properties again go to analysis tab and run analysis there are zero errors to warning warning can be ignored now go to post processing mode now let's see the output file as you can see for every member the sections are designed as you selected a member we can see its design is showing on the app the all the properties of that member are shown in this tab now go to post processing the same way we will check out the beam shear force displacement stresses their graphs and generate our output file click okay this is our output file looks like that's all for today thank you